Okay guys, welcome back to the channel. Apologies about the poor focus and all that. I'm gonna try and shoot this on the fly with the GoPro in one hand and, and do this all quickly. Just some tips about cleaning your glass. First thing is, once a year, you might wanna do this following thing that I'm talking about. Um, and that is just get all of the windows on your car fully down. Most modern cars, if you just hold the, up, the open button on the um, lock, all of the windows will come down if you just hold your finger on it. Eventually, there we go. So they all come down, so that saves you getting in there and pressing all the buttons. Um, now, I've got this thing here fired up. If we go over here and have a look, down between where the glass goes, so the glass, glass slides between this rubber film here on this side, and then on this side, typically on most cars, if you ever take the door cards off, this other lining here is like a felt lining. And what can happen is over time, you get like build up of kind of grease and grime on the felt lining and on the rubber lining so that when your glass goes up and down and I'll just put the glass back up it builds up kind of muck um, and all of that wet looking stuff that you can see is actually on the inside so it's probably a little bit of moisture um, in fact it's not all on the inside sorry but some of it if I let me get a cloth so if I just take that off the outside so I'm just buffing that wet stuff off this is from where I've washed it on the inside hopefully you can see this on the camera if I change lines there's all these marks from where it's smearing on this felt lining and um, you can spend ages cleaning your glass and then lower the glass down and rise it back up again and get all those marks so I'm going to lower this back down again Jesus Good job, I've got a good battery in this car. <coughs> now what I aim to do in this video is just to just gently clean the inside of that felt lining primarily and also the rubber seal here, just give that a wipe down. And also all of this bit here, because you, again you can see here you've got felt lining which the glass comes and sits to. So the build up of kind of dirt will, um, when the glass hits it, it will rub off on the glass. So you don't have to do anything too clever here. Um, in this box I've got most of the gear I use for kind of glass cleaning, good glass cleaner there, another one that's good for the interior because it's got anti-fog built into it, so that's Auto Perfect N1, and Angel Wax Vision, a stronger one when your glass is really sort of slimy. And I've got a load of glass cloths in here, so I'm using the Rag Company Black Diamonds now, and I use waffle weaves to kind of buff off after I've done all that scrubbing of the glass. I did flirt with trying a different towel to these waffle weeds because you can still pull the odd dot of fibre off these cloths when you work them. So I went and replaced them with another type of cloth, a pinpoint microfiber, which is a very tough glass cleaning cloth that isn't soft and fluffy. But unfortunately, they, they left all sorts of whiskers over my glass. So I've gone back to the waffle weeds. I think they're probably about as good as you can get for just um, for that secondary kind of buff. So I've also got some um, APC here, Green Star at 10 to 1. Now what I'll do is try and set the camera up somewhere where you can see what is going on here. I should really stick this thing to my head. Um, I've also got this little Alibaba tool that I was talking about earlier on, which is quite useful because it's just able to get in to that gap and I can work it along there. Um, and what I don't want to do is soak this felt, so it's soaking wet because we're still in sort of late winter, early spring conditions and that water isn't going to evaporate away. And if it's not dry, when you bring the glass up and down, that's all damp, you're going to put more moisture in there and all that sort of stuff. So you could use a hairdryer and just dry it out, but that's getting a bit bloody ridiculous. So anyway, let's crack on and actually clean this. I'm going to put the GoPro over here somewhere. Actually, I can't, can I? You need to see this. Um, Right, anyway, let's crack on with this, guys. So all I'm going to do is take... Oh, this is impossible to film. I need two hands. So can I spin this round here? God, this thing's not going to stay. Oh, God, the car's too slidey. No. Oh, man. Right, stay. Do not fall off. Right, all I'm going to do, a little bit of Koch Chemi Green Star, squirt it in there, either side. And I've got a little bit of APC on this microfiber now, which is 
you know, going to clean and degrease this area. So if I just bring you in, I'm going to just work this. Let me press the button so I can see what I'm doing. I'm just going to work this up and down here. Could use a little brush as well, but this just seems quite, this first time I've used this tool, by the way, I thought it'd be handy and it is. I'm just going to give this a flip. Right, and now I'm gonna go into this little seam here. I'm just gonna get that, some of these fibers a bit more. Do not look at the state of these A pillars. We're gonna sort those out when I polish the car there of dog's dinner. <laughs> okay, now we're gonna go into this little seam here, get the brush in. And just clean out that felt. You see that? Spin it round. And then I want to get a little bit of rubber there. Okay, so you can see this is going kind of very dirty now, this thing, but that's what it's there for. And now I'm gonna take a waffle weave cloth. I wanna use something with no, no like fibers on it or anything like that, guys, because this is all kind of rough textured finish. So I'm just going now to pick up what I've left behind in terms of cleaner product. And also get this felt dry so you've got all that dirt and that's that sort of grease which is going to hit your windscreen so you've got to do this once a year really you don't want to spend too long doing it i'm gonna you know like a couple of minutes each one i'm filming so i've got an excuse i'm gonna get that in there see. And just dry off that bit that i've cleaned and then make sure look at that jesus and then make sure I hit the rubber bit there and rub it all along there. Okay, so there's some of the grease and grime that builds up in there, guys. And um, that is sliding up and down your glass every time. And this is a relatively new kind of new car, so that bit dirt does build up in there. And doing this... Um, perhaps at least once a year is just an important thing. Now, what I can do now <coughs> is just wind this window up just a little bit. If this, oh no, where's the keys? Here we go. So let's do this. And stop. All right, good, unlock. And uh, what I can do now uh, as well, guys, is just clean. You know, I should really get the glass cleaner on this as well. But I'm just going to clean this top ridge. Of that. So now I can put the glass all the way up. And at this point, that glass is now ready for me to actually properly go in and clean the inside and clean the outside if I wanted to of the glass. Um, but like I say, once a year, it's well worth doing this, guys. Just quite simply because the amount of um, horrible grease and grime that builds up on those um, window seals. So I hope that video is useful. Any little tips you've got on glass cleaning, guys, whack them in the comments and let me know. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you soon on the Frantics Detailing Channel. i uh -huh.